we just found out that I'm pregnant in the cabin that we were staying in Lake Arrowhead this morning. We did a pregnancy test. Two hours ago. And we both feel like, we're not really sure what to feel. It feels very surreal. It feels crazy and scary and exciting and all the emotions. But we had to check out of the Airbnb like an hour after we found out. So we were like, okay, we can't even really think about it right now. We need to like get our act together and like get packed up and just like get ready, get the car loaded, do the checklist for the Airbnb, all the things. Plus, there was a hailstorm happening outside and I was hoping it was gonna snow, but it wasn't snow, it ended up being like hail. So it's hailing outside, we're trying to get the car loaded, we're trying to like take in the news. <laughs> Poor timing on our on our end, actually. I didn't really even think about that, but you're supposed to take it on the day that you're supposed to start your period, which is today, so I had to take it today. Anyways, we found out we were pregnant, we had to get the car loaded, we're on the road going home, and it is literally the most harsh driving conditions we've ever been in in our life. Like, you can't even see the car in front of you. There's so much fog, so much hail. Like, the windshield wipers are going crazy. We're driving down the mountain, and it's just so scary. And we couldn't even think about anything besides just getting down the mountain. Cash is, like, in my arms shaking because he was so, so cold and so <laughs> scared. I have him wrapped up in my jacket right now because his little paws got so cold when I took him out or Adam took him out to go try to go to the bathroom earlier but he was so confused by the hail and like just so scared but we're on the road right now you can s well that's probably not the best angle but here I'll flip it this way you can see we're coming down from Lake Arrowhead yeah we're coming down so it's still like it's still rainy but it's definitely not hailing anymore and you can actually see the road and you can see all the cars in front of us. So that's why we're able to film now. We were, you know, it was not, oops, not filming conditions. <laughs> it was all eyes on the road. Um, we were driving like probably 10 miles per hour, maybe 15 miles per hour. So it just was so scary. You couldn't see anything. So yeah, don't drive off the side of the cliff with your pregnant wife and puppy. <laughs> Finds out that I'm pregnant <laughs> and then has to manage driving the car for Get it. everyone. Pass the test. You did it. It was scary, but anyway, so we're driving home. We're now going to start processing the fact that I'm pregnant. What were your, what was your initial thought when I was like in the bathroom and I was like, babe, babe, <laughs> come here. What was your initial thought? What was going through your head? Because I was in the kitchen and you were I knew you were taking the test, but I knew it had needed a couple minutes, so I figured you'd like take it and come hang out or something and we'd find out together. I don't know what I was thinking. And all of a sudden it's here, babe, babe. <laughs> and I, I knew, I mean, I knew. <laughs> it ran back and you were just standing there just stunned. I was like, uh, <laughs> I was like um, babe, can you come here? Can you make sure that I'm making this right? <laughs> I'm freaking out. Just giant plus, yes. Yeah. Yeah, pregnant like that's immediately. Pretty sure what that's. Yes. I'm like checking the paper. Like, okay, I'm pretty sure the plus means yes. <laughs> uh. um, then I gave you the biggest hug. Yeah. And it just. And I can tell good. you were excited. Yeah, happy, excited, and just. It's interesting. I feel like your response was more around, "Oh my gosh, now I have all these questions and all these things." Yeah. And I'm sure those will come for me. But my first response was like, "Wow, like we're doing like." There's no more question mark of can we get pregnant, like will we get pregnant, when, just like, okay, yeah. like, here Yeah, so we I go. guess, well, okay, so let's back up. So we decided that we wanted to get pregnant. We'll just, we'll just back up first. We decided we want to get pregnant, and then we started trying, but we didn't really know, like, how to time it right with, like, the cycle, and there's, there's a lot that goes into it. Like, we just had no idea. So, and I was so, like, my biggest fear in life is that I can't get pregnant like I just I want to be a mom and so we decided okay we should just like go get everything checked to make sure everything's like good that we're actually able to get pregnant and so we did that um hey we're down the mountain that was fast we made it we made it off the mountain so we went and got checked everything's fine they're like yes you're fertile like you're ready to go we're like okay great very fertile I very, believe was the quote oh yeah <laughs> she's like you're very fertile I was like oh, okay <laughs> cool so then we kind of had a better idea of like what was like how to time it we'll just put it that way had a better idea of how to time it <laughs> <laughs> and 
and then that was like a month ago so but we're not sure when we tell people yeah we need to figure out like well whenever this video goes live obviously you guys will know that we're telling people so <laughs> this yeah, video is gonna go right live now while we're filming just right. happened. Yeah, it just We're happened. Like, when do we tell people? For me, it feels like I just want to tell everyone because it's something that's like a big deal and you want to like go tell, you want to start texting everyone, but you can't because no, you don't want to keep it a secret, but it's like you kind of have to keep it a secret because there's so many things that could still like, you know, go wrong or you don't want to, I don't know. There's a reason why you don't tell people right away. I feel naively good about it. Yeah. How do you feel about it? I feel really excited. Ultimately, I mean, the ultimate feeling is like excitement. But then I think layered with the excitement is also like, I just have so many questions now. Tell everyone the analogy that you just made. Yeah, I was just saying the like feeling of just finding out you're pregnant feels very similar to when we just got engaged. Because there's, yeah. you're like super excited and you're like, we should definitely celebrate. But <laughs> then you're like, okay, but what does that mean or like okay now I got to figure out a wedding and there's like yeah. so many decisions and like events that happen along the way so yeah. I feel like we're kind of like it's, you're kind of like okay you feel like you're in that again yeah it's kind of like here we buckle up <laughs> yeah like okay here we go we have to you know tell all of our people it's kind of like the same steps that you take when you get engaged you tell everyone you plan for the big event and wait what was the other thing that you said that it felt like just with all the decisions that you're making. And yeah, and like you're learning new things. Yeah, it's and like new territory. Yeah, it's, it's a really good analogy. I like that a lot. That's exactly what I feel. You're leading up to a life-changing event. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good, that's, that's a really good analogy. I like that. And instead of going on a big vacation after, you come home <laughs> with a little nugget. I know, that's the only difference. <laughs> <laughs> instead of going on a honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> we come home to just no more silent nights, but yeah, it's okay. We already don't really have silent nights because of this little guy. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Wait, what was the other thing I was going to say that I was going to talk about? We're going to talk about all the like little like wives tales that people mentioned. Oh, people okay. So this is crazy. For the last, would you say month? Yeah. Maybe three, three, three. Last three weeks. Okay, last three weeks. Because <laughs> that's pretty much, yeah. So the last three weeks while I've been oblivious to the fact that I'm pregnant, I have been so tired and like unexplainably tired and so moody and I'd really say those are the two like big things. Like I don't, you know, the other things like you have to pee a lot or other things like that I haven't really experienced. But anyways, I attributed it to like me just dealing with all my emotions and I'm like going through a process right now of like just getting healing from past things and just like being freed from just different things and so I've I just was feeling like that was why I was so tired was just mentally I've been really drained by that which is true I think it's been a combination of that too so I kind of attributed it to that but I also felt like maybe I was pregnant I think I told Adam like more than once like I just kind of feel like I'm pregnant like I don't know but I don't want to like keep thinking that and then have it not be true because that would just feel like a really big letdown so I would say kind of like oh I just think I'm pregnant kind of like offhandedly but I didn't ever really get attached to the to the thought or the feeling of that and then I was getting waxed and I was telling the lady like yeah I've just been so tired and like my dog has been driving me crazy and I like feel like I have zero patience with anything right now and she's like well are you pregnant and I was like no. Why are you saying that? Like, first of all, I don't even know her. Like, she's waxed me before, but like, I don't like know her, like, you know, her soul. <laughs> We're not like friends. And when she said that to me, I was like, mm, no, I'm not. And she's like, well, if your dog's been acting so crazy, like dogs, like know that kind of stuff. Like they can sense emotions really, really well. They can sense it better than humans. So like, I wouldn't be surprised if you were pregnant. And I was like, mm, okay, yeah, sure. And then I like left and I came home and told Adam about it. And he was like, hmm, it's an odd thought. And I was like, this is an odd thought. Then I was at the dentist, like what, like a week ago. And I, well, I'm always at the dentist. That's be real. <laughs> I have a lot going on with my teeth. But um, I was at the dentist and uh, I actually do know my hygienist pretty well. Cause like I said, I'm there a lot. So I'm like better friends with her than I would be my wax specialist. But 
Anyways, Adam had told her at his at his visit, because he has her also as like a dental hygienist, he was like telling her that we've been trying to have a baby, which <laughs> is a normal tell, thing at a dental normal thing, I guess, to tell your dental hygienist, but anyways, uh -huh. Uh -huh. so then I had my appointment and she was like, Oh, your gums are bleeding a lot, and I was like, Yeah, they've kind of started to bleed again. They bled in the past, so I really didn't think much of it. Like I just thought, I was like, yeah, it's kind of starting to come back again. I'm not really sure. It's only been like a couple days. And she's like, looks at me and she's like, well, are you pregnant? And I was like, what? Like, no, why are you saying that? She's like, well, your husband told me. He told me that you guys are trying to get pregnant. I was like, he did? First of all, what? <laughs> I would have to go home and talk to him about that. Second of all, how does that, like, why does my gums bleeding make you think that? And she was like, well, that can be a sign. Like, if you're pregnant, your gums, whoa. Sorry, it's really shaky. Um, she said that could be a sign. Like, if you're pregnant, your gums bleed more. And I was like, okay, yeah, yeah. Like, mm, probably not. My gums have bled in the past. Like, mm, you're extrapolating here. So, those two things have happened in the last week. Literally last week. So, that's crazy too. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> the world knew before we did. The world knew. Also, I kind of feel like I knew. But I didn't want to, like I said, I didn't want to get attached to the feeling or the thought that I was in case I wasn't. I didn't want like, to be let down. But I was like, I'm abnormally tired. I'm abnormally moody. It could be attributed to the fact that I'm like going through a lot right now. Or I could be pregnant. So it's probably both. <laughs> At this point, we definitely know that I'm... It's positive, so... Cash agrees. Cash is going to be excited. <laughs> But we're getting on the freeway now. We're off the mountain. We're heading back home and everything's fine. It still looks like really cloudy and it looks like it might rain down here too. It's like wet on the floor. So it definitely did rain, but um, not hailing like it was on the mountain. It's definitely, these are more of our type of driving conditions. <laughs> yeah. so, made it out alive. Before. It's been quite the, quite the day. It's only 1126 in the morning. Yeah, it has been quite the day. AM, pre-lunch. This no. all happened pre-lunch. Now we can talk about how we want to celebrate. Oh, I yeah. Mean, I feel like we haven't even talked about that yet. How do we want to celebrate? I don't know. How do you celebrate something like this? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we need to... Yeah, we need to celebrate. Yeah, That's but we can't point. tell anybody. We can't. We have so to celebrate like in secret. incognito celebration. <sighs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> like, does that mean we should go out to dinner? Or does it mean have a dance party in our living room? Does it mean we go on a trip somewhere? Does it mean we, I don't know, give each other presents? <laughs> Maybe I should Google it. What's the first thing you're supposed to do when you find out <laughs> yeah, you get pregnant? Like, Google tell us at me. <laughs> like, are you supposed to make a doctor appointment? Well, now you have a OBGYN. Got that covered at least. You know where we're going. Yeah. Anyways, so, these are all of our current thoughts, feelings, emotions um, yeah, within luck. two hours of this happening. So I think we're just going to end the video here. You know, I think that's enough information. I think, whoa, <laughs> not a good time to end the video. <laughs> a lot going on. Um, we just wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on, but obviously you're not going to see this until probably three months from now, right? I think it's... Or maybe I really less. Don't I don't. We don't. We're not sure. But you're probably not going to see this obviously in real time. So, or you won't see this in real time. Get get prepared for some more info to come. Get stoked, and uh, we'll see you guys later.